What is going on guys, my name is Alex Rondego, bringing you a special live sixes match here with the garbage can, the ghost sniper. Interesting choice to go sniper right out the uh, gate here, but as we're rolling out the mid-fight, let's look over the roster. Grill Gamers versus this uh, other team, I'm not quite sure the name yet, I will find that out pretty soon. We have Seal on Scout, Moist Slacks on Demo Man, Rob Ford on Soldier, Grish on Scout, Latka for Medic, which is also known as Vel, and Doug Ford, also known as Kirby on Soldier. For the red team, Hickory on Medic, the BFG on Soldier, Jets on Scout, Blue Zon on uh, Demo Man, Garbage Can on Sniper, again interesting enough, and Rich Homie Quan on Soldier. Coming into the mid fight here, Blue is looking quite dominant. They took a little bit of time on the point, but they are losing a lot of players. Only three up the Soldier left with 10 health as the Ghost Sniper. Gets a lot of work done, uh, getting that soldier on point. Strangely enough, Red is not contesting this point. They're going with Uber, they're going to start contesting. Very good choice right now. And Blue is very smartly, very intelligently backing up uh, right here. Lotka just spawning for the Blue team. Red is going to be able to take this point, no problem. And they should be looking... Interesting uh, choice here to go Sniper. Uh, this is Iron Sixes. Uh, garbage can on sniper. Uh, very interesting, but he's looking for a shot on the mat. He can't. Can he get it? He cannot quite get it. Uh, facing the scout. Red pops their uber going into second point. Blue team does not have their uber. Only 20% for their medic. And he's going to go down. He's going to go down. He goes down to Blue Zon. I know a very accomplished uh, gold level heavy, I believe, playing demo for this Iron Sixes team. And they are doing a ton of work against the blue team, leaving only one up right now. And they should be able to take this uh, point, no problem. Kirby, Doug Ford on Soldier, the only one left, but he's not... Can he contest? Jets is taking the last point, and that's... Oh! Oh no, Doug Ford. Uh, wow. That is, um... Quite a contestion. A very, very impressive save. Getting in there just in time on Kirby's part. Uh... The, the combo very intelligently, uh, and the heavy holding down the point, locking it down, making sure nobody can get on that point. Meanwhile, Red is planning their push in lobby right here. The soldier's gonna jump in. Let's see what work he can get done. He tries to tr go for the combo, but he knows he cannot survive, so he runs back into lobby. They, uh, very uh, smart play here by Red, as what they should be doing. Only peeking a little bit to see what's going on, but they are staying uh, clustered up in lobby. They, they uh, pop their uber. They're going into last. Blue does not have uber yet, so this... Oh no! <laughs> the soldier takes himself out. Jess is doing some work against the blue, but it's even numbers 3v2 right now in favor of blue. The red medic escapes with his life, just barely enough health to get out. Um, the soldier's gonna chase him down, though. Can't quite get the kill, though. Unfortunate. Uh, Hickory is escaping with 100 health, regenerating as we speak. And blue is looking uh, pretty, uh, pretty good on the recovery here. Grish is taking the second point back. There, uh, there was an attempt to back cap, but they couldn't quite get the job done. Blue has retaken second, which will buy them a little bit of time to regroup and make another push out. <clears throat> Two players down for both teams, as we have Blue holding Uber right here. Their medic went down, I didn't see that. The medic went down for red, so Blue has a free Uber in here. They should be able to contest uh, second without popping unless the medic gets forced. They got, did they get forced? Something over here must have forced the med. They didn't seem to have a reason to pop there, but nevertheless, the soldier is going to jump away. With 14 health, he goes down. Blue with a slight player advantage, but not too much, <clears throat> are going to stay at second with the sniper watching. He has a clear shot on the medic. Can't quite get the headshot. He's going to go for another one. Oh, he is missing, and it doesn't take long for him to get bombed and killed by a soldier. A nice try, but no cigar for him. The, de the demo Moist Slacks with a bottle, uh, trying to contest the scout, but the rest of his team has moved on uh, past the scout and is now taking midpoint. This is the medic, the soldiers uh, on midpoint. Let's see, there's one up for red, so they should be sending their scouts uh, at least to find out what's going on. But the red team did get forward spawns, so they are looking like they're in a good position to hold second right now. Let's see what's going on here. Latka, the blue medic, is sitting on Uber right about now. He's got 100%, and the red medic is on 20. So with any luck, we should see a few seconds go by before the blue team decides to, uh, to pop in here. They do have Uber advantage. Let's see if we can get on the med. The med, with 21 health, makes the pop. Going to go in with his soldier and demo, or with her soldier and demo. I apologize. Latka is a female. The blue team is not getting a lot of cap time, but they do very... 
quickly get back to cap the point. And we are looking right here at a last hold for red team. It's not looking so good. But on the good side, Hickory is sitting on 85% Uber. And uh, we should see a pop out of red team within the next 30 seconds, knowing that they have Uber advantage. Garbage Can is still on Sniper, interestingly enough, and is no longer a ghost, which should increase his chances of getting a headshot. I'm going to stick with the Medic's pocket right now if we can find him. Uh, let's see. Blue Medic on the right side. Laka was 73. Five. They should be uh, pushing in pretty soon with their Uber Advantage, but it doesn't look like they're going to do that. They have a 5v6 battle with Uber Advantage. Latka at 90% Uber. They only have a little bit left before they lose this advantage, 95%. And it looks like they're going to choose not to push in. They are now sitting with equal Uber. <clears throat> But we'll see what they do with it. Oh, it looks like the blue team has popped in left here. They will uh, come in. It's just their demo and their med. Their soldier is retreating. It looks like uh, the red is holding firm right here. They do have numbers. They're going to chase the blue team back in a lobby and see if they can pick the med. Latka, low on health, is going to uh, get back behind cover. And now it is two down on each team. Jets here on red on the last hole. Building a level one, but it is going to go down to a soldier uh, when Jets goes back for metal. <laughs> Uh, so good job uh, to that soldier. Could have be, uh, could have become a level 3 and been a real problem for that team. Oh no, but there is a cap going on. Jets with the one health cannot quite save it. The medic valiant effort, but can't quite save it. That is a 1-0 in favor of the blue team. Uh, Grill Gamers. It looks like we have an unfortunate uh, plugins switch. I think uh, the config may have been a little strange, a little wacky. <clears throat> and here we go, round... it's 0-0 zero, zero again. Interesting. Uh, there must have been a config issue. Let's take a look at the uh, the soldiers rollout here. Oh, a little lag there, that's alright. Blue Jean's demo rollout. Missing a few of those stickies, but uh, you know, we all make mistakes. Well, let's see what happens here at this mid-fight. We do have the scout and the soldier on red, and for blue, both soldiers have bombed up, taking ground, but one uh, retreats, leaving two soldiers on high ground. Scout comes in to clean up the soldier. Can he get the job done? No, but the other soldier comes in to get that cleanup. Uh, they are sitting two down on both teams. It's looking pretty even, but blue is taking more ground and is being much more dominant on this point as the soldiers take the high ground, raining rockets and death down upon red as they very wisely choose to fall back. Letting blue take the midpoint, red will uh, go for a second hold right here. Both teams are sitting on 100% uber uh, as the uh, they decide to forward hold just a little bit, peek their heads around, see what's going on. They know they have their uber to protect them, but they want to make sure that they uh, play on any advantage they might get in this uh, in these exchanges. Jets actually and uh, Rich Homie Quan, the uh, two players on red, do go down, and that will trigger in the push from blue. Sorry, the camera work is a little shoddy here. Hickory does manage to escape after that Uber, but there are three players down for red. <clears throat> oh no! The soldiers both bomb in and they get Hickory. That will be an advantage for Blue, although Blue, uh, not sitting on Uber themselves, they still do have heals though, and they will be able to take this second point. And we do have the medical man as a ghost capping second, but Blue will be able to take the second point. Looking once again at a last hold for red team. Let's see how they set up. It looks like Jets, uh, Jets is a, uh, an engineer once again. He has chosen wisely, it seems, another spot for his sentry, although I'm not sure about this placement. If a soldier knows it's there on the right side, he can easily spam uh, either side to damage the sentry at least. Uh, it's debatable whether it would go down. It is doing some work against the scout though, who will retreat with uh, 50 some odd health. The blue team staying very uh, dominant on this second point. They are not giving up this ground without a fight. Let's see what the medic situation is. Hickory here with 45%. The blue medic is actually down. I did not see uh, where the medic went down in those exchanges. It must have been uh, a pick of some kind. Oh no, but the blue soldier is looking to get revenge. There is a demo behind the medic. And the back cap. The back cap for blue team. Wow. Very interesting. And it looks like uh, we are having more config issues. This is uh, this is strange. But nevertheless, the uh, the show must go on here. 
In the meantime, let us take a look and see UGC website. Let's just take a look. I know this is very unprofessional. But I'm going to go to the season, the match schedule. One second. Looks like they're going to restart the server here. Uh, we are going to Six's match schedule. <clears throat> and we're going to find out the name of this team to give them the rights that they deserve. And we shall introduce them in the next, uh, the next start of the round. So we're going to NA Iron. Is the Sixes Grill Gamers versus Taco Knights and Salty Horse? Taco Knights and Salty Horse. Both teams are some of the top teams in uh, Sixes Iron right now, which, as we know, is a huge accomplishment in UGC. Taco Knights and Salty Horse versus Grill Gamers, and I, uh, I realize I may be a little bit biased being a sub on Grill Gamers myself, but hey, this is for funsies. What are you gonna do? So. We're kind of in a hiatus right now, not a whole lot going on. A lot go with his uh, very attractive Einstein genius loadout. <clears throat> very attractive loadout here. Uh, some players AFK. Looks like we are uh, coming in to organize the next round. Interesting stuff going on in the chat here. Uh, it looks like there is some server config issue, maybe some coordination issue. Uh, the plugins are unloaded though, so it looks like we will be live here in just a second. And there we go. We are live. It, I believe this is round three. I could be wrong. Of Grill Gamers versus Salty Horse, UGC Sixes Iron, week number six, I believe. I can find out. This is very unprofessional. Week 5, there we go. Uh, let's do the free cam and take a look at this rollout. Oh, the blue demo. Moist Slacks doing a lot of work on that rollout, really damaging the red demo. And actually dropping Hickory. Hickory has gone down in that exchange while Latka at perfect health remains up. Blue team was looking very aggressive there, and they still are. They're down uh, two players to red's one, but that one on red is the medic, so they should be able to get some work done right here. Let's take a look at their med with 98% uber. This is going to be a free run for them. Taking some spam, 90 health. Uh, that could uh, signal one of their soldiers or possibly a demo to really spam out the med. But they probably know that the med would pop in anticipation of that and that would not do them very much good. With three down for the red team, blue is going to make the push here. Grish is on sniper, a very interesting choice. Uh, only after the, uh, the mid push, taking mid successfully. Garbage can holding his scattergun very interestingly. Uh, the red team, Salty... I have to remember this name. Uh, Taco Knights and Salty Horse. Very long name, I can't remember. They are going to have to be the ones to hold uh, as of right now. Blue uh, is down a player. They are 3 and 4 at the moment. Red is uh, very intelligently deciding not to push out, though. Uh, as Hickory comes up, 0% on the crits creek. But they are running crits Well, I believe... Uh, no, Latka is down. I'm sorry about that. Latka is down while Hickory has just begun to build his crits. Uh, interestingly enough, Hickory was up well before Latka, but he's only sitting on about an 8% advantage at the moment. That could easily be turned around. That's well within the margin of turning things around, if you will. So, uh, Scout trying to engage the soldier up in, uh, in lobby right there. For, forgive me for not knowing the locations on this map. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, couldn't quite get the job done. Blue is going to reorganize here as they have done a very good job of doing. Oh, but the soldier's gonna go in for the bomb on the med, but he can't seem to get the job done, but the scout comes in, cleans up the medic, and there is one up for both teams, looking at the demo's perspective here. Can the scout finish him off with 45 health? The scout's at 94. It's looking pretty one-sided, but the scout is going to retreat. Smart move, debatable, but Moist Lax is going to see their combo. Likely is going to go down here. He is caught out alone, their combo, but they know that uh, Blue does not have that second point. They know that there's not a whole lot that Demo can do, especially with their team coming out and are very likely to pick him off, and they do. Uh, combo being very smart in, uh, in just pushing on, ignoring the Demo, not letting him distract them, and they are running Quick Fix. Let's see if we can get to this. Uh, where's the medic? Here he is. Hickory is running Quick Fix on his scout being uh, very aggressive in attacking Blue. They're trying to get the, uh, the upper hand. They know Blue have been the more aggressive ones in this match so far. But they are three down, so they do need to be careful. The bomb in from the soldier, and that will get Hickory. Wow. It's now five up for Blue and two up for Red. Blue is going to stay very dominant here, and we'll likely see some movement forward. 
The scout is trying to take ground, but he's being contested. He will take out the red scout with one up, two up, I'm sorry, they just got spawns for red team. Trying to hold the lobby, but there's not a whole lot of work they can do. Blue, meanwhile, should have no problem in taking the second point, as has been the case pretty much for the entire match. Hickory is still running quick fix. Latka is running minigun, but he does not have a healing buddy, and so he's not been able to build. And let's see when he finally does hook up with one of his teammates who are now holding lobby. And he finally does, but Hickory is sitting on about just under a 50% uber advantage. So this could, uh, if they play this smart on Red's part, uh, this could easily turn the game around. There's two down uh, for each one. Oh no, but the scout is on the point. They can easily contest that, though there is just a little bit of cap time. Wow, and the uh, garbage can. A very nice snipe on the medic right there. Poor, poor soul. Hickory is going to take that and run with it as they build their quick fix. Uh, to Latka's medigun, the quick fix will build much faster. Uh, I expect to see some good aggression coming out of red team right now as they go to contest the second point. Uh, lots of bodies on it. So the medic is healing the sniper. They cannot do anything about the second point without a fight. The two soldiers, one of the red soldiers going down, the other one goes down to a pipe. Amazingly blue. They've been do doing a great job this game of re-coordinating after uh, they've lost players. There is a sticky trap on this door they have to be careful of. Uh, but they got the demo before he could get his trap. That would have taken out uh, the blue demo. But they're only two up for red. They did just get spawned, so it appears they missed a decent opportunity to push in, especially with an uber advantage, though neither team at the moment has uber. Red has switched to a pyro and a sniper. Uh... Two pyros, actually. Two pyros on red team in an attempt to defend. Two pyros and a sniper to blues two soldiers and a spy. Uh, Grish has gone spy. Let's see if he's going to be doing any work here. He is trying to sneak behind enemy lines. And uh, he should be conveying some very useful info to his team. He sees a sniper, bumps into the scout, and... Uh, the red team now knows that the blue team is running a spy and to be very careful, but he is getting caught out here. Red team has popped their uber. They are doing some big, big work with it. All red players are up. The only uh, There's only three up for blue, and they will pop the uber in. They're really trying to focus the medic, but he is going to escape just barely with his life. As there are two up for blue, a failed push with the medic getting caught out. He is going to go down to a scout and a pyro. And the heavy, support from the heavy. Blue Jean, Blue Zon, uh, finally going his main class. I am a heavy man myself, so I can greatly appreciate the work that he does. Denying scouts and bombers, there is just a beauty in that. Running shotgun as well, because of course Sandwich uh, is banned in UGC 6s. 90% for the quick fix for red team. Lotka has not uh, started healing yet. He has just spawned after being taken out in that fight. This is going to be a free uber in with a quick fix for red team. Nothing for blue, the soldier's gonna bomb, and he, uh, very nice job distracting the combo from the medic, but the medic, uh, it looks like he's going to go in anyway. The medic is getting a little bit caught out here. And red is doing a very, very nice job with the aggression right here. Blue Jean holding down the point. Is it Blue Jean? Blue Zon? I'm not quite sure. Doing a very nice job holding in the point, and he denies the spy! Very, very nice job. Hickory is a little bit hurt, but with uh, 65, 70% quick fix uber percentage to Latka's 30% uh, medigun. Not only is red going to build much faster, but they also now have player advantage, and Latka, very, very hurt. He does appear to be on fire, but he cannot find a health pack. Is he going to go down? He can find a health pack. Just barely escaping with his life there. Red is continuing the pressure. They do not have numbers at the moment, but they do have uber advantage, I believe. No, they do not. Hickory goes down to the blue demo, which is going to put a dent in their push, although red still does have uber advantage. But blue has their medic. Or, uh, I'm sorry. Red, not uber advantage. Red has player advantage. Um, but no more medic. Blue, Latka... Sitting here with 60 health, trying to defend this point with 80% uber. Has to stay alive if they want any chance at holding this point. As soon as Lotka goes down, they lose their advantage, and Red is going to be able to make a push in. 
Let's see if Garbage can. Red Sniper, who got a nice headshot on the on the medic before. See if he can do any work here. He saw the medic, he saw the uh, medic's beam. Tried to get a headshot on the medic. Couldn't quite nail it. That would have uh, been a drop if he uh, had managed to get that, though. Let's see if he can do any work. He's peeking around a corner. Can't see anything. They know he's there. The scout's going to seek him out. But he goes down, unfortunately, to the body shot. Can't quite clean up the soldier at the moment. Both teams kind of poking each other's buttons. It is still a uh, fully charged medigun for Latka on blue. Uh, to, let's see, what is 100% uh, quick fix for Hickory? Nobody's got advantage, but it is Uber versus quick fix. Which uh, should be interesting to see. Quick fix on the heavy and blue. Oh, they have... Uh, red team is in with the quick fix. Blue team is in with the Uber. Let's see what happens in this exchange. The demo bombs in, realizing he can get some good damage out, but yet he is not Ubered. He gets flashed, though, by Lotka. Very, very nice flash. Unfortunately, he gets, uh, Lotka gets taken out by Garbage Can. Blue with the numbers here. Two down, or two up for red. Everybody but their med up for blue. And there is a back cap by the sniper, was that? I believe that was the sniper that was trying to back cap. <laughs> but it couldn't quite get the job done. Blue now with the numbers. Some very uh, back and forth gameplay here. The scoreboard still says 0-0, zero to zero, uh, but we'll see what happens as these games go on. Again, I'm not sure what happened with the configs. Um, I'm not sure what these teams are going to decide to do uh, with these scores, uh, depending on if the configs were broken, if there was a mistake that was made. We will see after this. I report. You decide. Blue Hazan is still playing heavy for red, which is an interesting choice. Uh, I've seen Sixes teams run heavy full time in the past, and I've heard that it works quite well, but with 70 health, it's going to be forced to retreat as Blue gets very aggressive here on the point. Red Power doing some work, getting the medic on fire, but it's not going to do a whole lot as he can regen back to 150. Blue team still with numbers, grouped up very nicely. They are going to push out Red Pyro. There is another Pyro waiting to ambush the team, unfortunately. They have gone the other way. And the Red Pyro is going to realize that. And he's going to come back to help his team. Two Pyros on red. A very interesting uh, choice. And it looks like the one of those Red Pyros, Rich Homie Queen, uh, engaged Latka and forced the Uber out of him, which was good in theory, not so good in practice, as now it is just the Medic Alive for red. And it goes down to the Extinguisher from Grish. Complete wipe for red team, and that is round. A very easy push in a last. By Grill Gamers. And uh, I'm looking at the chat right here. 4-0 good ha. LF. <clears throat> I, uh, I believe that is potentially the end of the match. I do not know. Uh, I believe I, s I may have started casting a little bit late. Plugins are unloaded. It looks like Doug Ford Kirby on blue on Grill Gamers is going to uh, start here. Let's uh, let's take a look at Rich Homie Kwan. Some nice rolling out here. Garbage Can is still Sniper and Blue Hazan. Blue Zon is still heavy. Hickory still on Quick Fix and uh, Moist Slacks getting to the point very very early. Moist Slacks getting out some good spam here, but the uh, Power's doing a good job at reflecting. Scout also getting some good distraction here. He's going for the med. He can't quite get the med. Did not want to pick that fight. Moistlex uh, is getting some good damage out here. He's been doing a lot of work at these mids during this match. Scout getting a little bit aggressive trying to get the medic, but he could not get the job done. Garbage can going for some picks here. He's looking in some, uh, some spots. Tries to go for the shot on the soldier. Could not do it, though. It is... Uh, everybody's up for red, and again, that's a heavy and a sniper. A Soldier and a Pyro, some very interesting uh, class uh, picks right here, but they are up three players. They're three down on blue. Whether they will be able to hold second is, uh, I doubt, I doubt that very much because blue is sitting on 20% Uber to Red's full quick fix Uber. Let's see what happens here. Soldier's going to jump in. Can't quite get far enough, but he is getting some damage on the medic. Scout's going to try to clean up the medic. Medic is very hurt. Medic is very hurt. Medic goes down to rich homie queen. Hickory did pop quick fix in that engagement. Everybody's on fire. And that is looking like a nearly complete wipe on Red's part. Doug Ford, also known as Kirby, being the only one on last. No spawns yet. Uh, he does get his medic though, so we'll see if these two can hold down the point. 
uh, red is likely going to be pushing right in complete aggression here. And they're trying, they're getting in just a little bit. Latka's now on the Kritzkrieg. They're going the aggressive route. <clears throat> Blushan holding down the lobby right here. Hickory is sitting on 100% quick fix. They can pop this, and they do, they pop it in. They are going to attempt to get some cap point with this quick fix. Blue Jean running out of ammo in the middle of that courtyard, and he goes down. The soldier bombs the point in a desperate attempt to fend off the medic and everybody else on red, who is uh, actively contesting, and they will end up with even numbers. Uh, a new spawn for red. It is uh, That was a 3-3 three and three engagement. Actually, a 2-3 and three with that new spawn. Rich homie Qu uh, queen trying to be a hero. Stop the cap on second, which he successfully manages to do. The scout escaping with his life. Uh, and the pyro trying to uh, delay the soldier from getting to second. The red team seems to be doing... On one hand, I'd like to say they're doing a decent job of contesting second and taking advantage of the fact that players are kind of scattered on blue trying to push out to second. On the other hand, uh, red is not extremely together. We've got the soldier and the medic over here. Um, players are a little bit scattered. And blue, once again, blue is uh, two soldiers and their medic. Uh, let's see if we can find their scouts here. Their demo man is watching last, but he will very quickly... Oh no, he won't. He won't move up because there is a scout on him. And he will take down the scout. Blue is now running a spy. Uh, Grish is now a spy. And Latka, 14 health. He holds on to that quick fix. Or not quick. I'm sorry. He holds on to the Kritzkrieg with such low health. That, uh, that takes balls to do. And uh, with uh, with some numbers advantage, they did wait a little bit long there. Red did get spawns in that time, and Red is actually, they just popped Quick Fix up in house here. And Blue is going to respond with crits. This looks like it's going to be doing some pretty big work. Very nice uh, plays by Doug Ford there, uh, spinning around and catching out the Red team before they could take out the Medic. Very important to do that. But the Medic is taking second. The Medic is back capping, it looks like. And he takes the point by himself before they could contest. A very, very interesting and very nice play by Hickory to separate from his team and take the point just like that. Fortunately, he does hook back up with his pyro, uh, and he is going to uh, contest, relying on his air blast to do a lot of the work, and that sniper was trying to help out, but at close range, there's not a whole lot he can do. Three down for blue team. We're going to see a lot of aggression coming out right now from red team, as they know that the blue medic is down. They know they have the numbers to work with. Uh, there's only three up for blue. They have to push in right away, and that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to come in and try to finish this once and for all. Demo's on fire, they are gonna get bodies on the point. Blue cannot get anybody on the point just fast enough, and that's gonna be one round to Taco Knights and Salty Horse. <laughs> Taco Knights and Salty Horse, I have to, uh, I have to go back to uh, the Steam browser to the UGC page and find out exactly what that name is. Um, because it's it's too long, I can't remember it, and I'm, like I said, I'm biased uh, for for grill gamers. Score is now four and one. We are going into the next round. Let's take a look at who can we find on here? Moist Slacks. He's been getting to mid very quickly, doing some very good damage. I want to see what his rollout looks like. Pretty uh, pretty nice, pretty smooth rollout, and as we can see, he is getting to mid very quickly compared to the other demo man, compared to the other players. And that actually could be explained because the other team does not have a demo man. Something worth noting. They're not running a demo, in fact the red team is running a heavy, a sniper, and a pyro. Red has been uh, running some interesting classes, as has blue, but I think red has been uh, Taco Knights and Salty Horse. Did I get that? Yes I did. Taco Knights and Salty Horse has been doing some more interesting plays. Oh, but Blue is going to pop the crits around the corner. Hickory is going to force out the quick fix because A, the scout was there, and B, they do need to contest this crits. Let's take a look at Blue Zon's Blue Zon. I think that's how you name it, pronounce it. Blue Zon. But they are not going to try to contest mid. They know that is a lost cause. Blue Zon doing a very good job, it looks like, of protecting his medic as they regroup, regroup here at second. 
Hickory is a little bit hurt here with 60% quick fix. He's going to stay back in an effort to stay alive. Uh, both medics staying uh, right around 80% right now. They have equal uh, uber percentages. Building up at about the same speed. Let's see what happens uh, on this point right here. Red is losing some players. They're going to respond by popping their quick fix to which blue responds by popping the crits and blues on. And there's a back cap. The back cap, I believe by Grosh, but I don't know uh, if that was him that was back capping. Very close to capping that last point very quickly, but red team... Uh, Something Knights and Salty Horses? Taco Knights and Salty Horses. I don't understand the name. I'm just trying to memorize it. Taco Knights and Salty Horses with the numbers, but the soldier's gonna bomb the medic, and he does get the medic. A very, very nice and well-executed response to Hickory's going down just a few seconds before that. Both teams left without heals for the next five or ten seconds. Actually, uh... Actually, that was my mistake. Lotka on blue, uh, the medic, was up when I said that. I did not see that. He is running Kritzkrieg, and he is going to have a very large advantage over Hickory. Uh, about a 50% advantage. Uh, maybe 60 if Hickory... Yep, there he goes. Oh, but Lotka goes down to a sniper shot by Garbage Can, who is watching through cheese. Trying to get the picks, and Blue's on leading the pushes along with his pyro. But there is a back cap going on. Who is capping last? Garage. The scouts are capping second. They got behind red team. They cap second. He is going in. <laughs> Bluzon was trying. Grish is trying to get some work done. If he could take the engineer out. Uh, but the red response is swift. Their justice is swift and they take out the blue scout. He was rushing for that last cap. And now red is uh, not necessarily uh, getting a whole lot done with that though. They are losing players at the moment. Two down for each team with a level one sentry defending. As usual, Jet's uh, strat seems to be going NG. Uh, getting those level ones up, trying to build them up. As blue is, uh, it looks like they're trying to hold lobby, but they don't seem to want to so much, as they know red has a very solid defense, but they can't afford to wait around, as they do have an uber advantage, and they don't want to waste this, so let's take a look at what happens with Latka. He is actually forced to pop, uh, very low health, he's very hesitant to go in and lose that, but very, very good negotiation. Unfortunately, he goes down to a reflect... By the BFG, a uh, grenade, very nice job. Red is going to be able to push back out here with three up for the blue team. Jets is going to stay on last. Uh-oh, but there is a soldier spamming his gun. It's not going to do a whole lot, though, as blue gets their spawns. Red is still going to, uh, to cap second. This is a very back-and-forth game. Hickory, interestingly, deciding to run Vaccinator, which, uh seems to have helped. I don't know if it saved his life in both of those soldier and scout um, fights. But blue Zom was able to defend him, uh, and neither of those two blue players were able to take the medic down. Thanks, uh, in part to the vaccinator. Red is, uh, they've actually got their level three. Uh, Jets is staying engineer. He's electing to keep his sentry in a spot, uh, that will contest the blue team. Unfortunately, it goes down by Moist Slack's very precise stickies. And Grish the Fish is going for the back cap. They are going for the back cap. Red is three up, and they are not doing so well. Oh, they denied it! Second is not taken. The scout's going to escape with his life. Oh, but the soldier jumps in, takes second. The scout, Grish the Fish, can he do anything? It doesn't look like it. Red has a very uh, solid hold here on last. They're not going to be able to do much against red for taking the last point it's a very back and forth game right here jets has switched off from engineer realizing his sentries can easily get spammed out and is elected to go pyro a class that can uh, reflect oh and garbage can takes out latka which will leave hickory here with a very large uber advantage they do have uh well they do have full uber but the vaccinator they can use uh, a quarter each time so whether you can call that a true uber advantage is debatable, but they are losing their soldier, Rob Ford, the soldier for blue, also goes down, so they are looking at pretty even numbers, Jets the Pyro is also down. 
Popping the bullet vaccinator for a soldier seems like a bit of a mismatch. At this point, it would be wise for the medic to switch to uh, explosive resistance, and he does. Lotka building up 35% on his crits to 0% on Hickory's vaccinator. Crits versus vaccinator, I guess it really depends on the situation. I can't say I know which one is better in which situation. Oh, and the uh, soldier Rob Ford does bomb the sniper, so no sniper on this very open second point, which is a very good thing for this team. The medic, despite... Oh, despite uh, using the bullet resistance, he will go down to the scout. Grish the fish goes for the last cap. He cannot quite get it. Two up for red. This should be one up for red. Grosh is not going to be able to get last point. Very, very back and forth here. Now there's two up for blue and red. Blue Jean is going to take second. We have a lot of time left on this map. Let's see where everybody is. Demo goes down to the pyro with the vaccinator medic. Blue Jean is right behind them. They are pushing out of lobby. Medic is alone. He's looking to get chased down, but he is going to get back to his team in time. Well, let's take a look at Rob Ford, who is getting behind them. Let's see if he can do any work. Uh, he gets a uh, rocket reflected by the pyro. Says that is not something I want to deal with. Too many players and a pyro who can reflect my rockets. I'm not dealing with that. Blue is holding that midpoint firm, but they are losing players left and right. They are currently two down. Doug is going to try to make an impact on their five health. He's barely going to escape with his life. Gets taken out by the heavy. Oh, this is tough. Locked is alone. He's holding 95% Uber. He needs to survive if they want a chance of holding this. Alternatively, he could always... He's going for the back cap. He could kill himself, realizing there's really not a whole lot of chance, uh, and try to build up that much quicker, but he's electing to stay behind them, not getting any heals out. Chances are very good he's not going to encounter a teammate. There's the entire red team. But he does get a saw off on the sniper. And he hooks up with his soldier. What's going to happen here? Rob Ford gets, Rob Ford gets taken out, and Latka goes down to a snipe. Unfortunately, he could not do anything with that uh, Kritzkrieg. If he had an Uber, uh, a Medigun, pardon me, he would have been able to save himself with that one Uber sub, but unfortunately, he could not do that. Doug Ford going down for blue. Three up on blue, four up on red, as red still has the midpoint. Blue uh, players seem to be very scattered right now. Red is... Up on the second point, Blue Zon's going to turn around, see the demo, protect his men very nicely, who will use explosive resistance. And with two down on Blue, we should expect to see some aggression from Red, especially with their uber advantage that they have now in vaccinator form. 90%, that is a full right now. They have full four pops. For this vaccinator, they are going to go in, are they? Heavy resistance coming in from Blue. The longer they wait, they have all their players, the longer they wait... The longer, I'm sorry, the longer they wait, the more uh, blue is going to have uh, uber, and they will lose their uber advantage. Red's sniper going down, and blue's heavy going down as red begins their push in with the vaccinator. 76% uh, crits for blue, and it's going to build up. Red is not focusing down their medic enough. Actually, Latka goes down. Latka goes down to rich homie queen. Blue is uh, keeping their numbers. More Slacks is doing a good job defending the point with Stickies. And despite Laka going down, Red could not make that push. As much as Red is uh, trying to hold their ground, they are holding on to uh, their several vaccinator Ubers. They are retreating and giving up some of those points. And the server is shut down. Well, that was the game. Uh, I may cut this out um, to see if anything will happen. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to see if I can uh, get any more tape. If not, that's the end of this one. First time casting a game. Let me know what you thought. I know my camera work was not very good, but thank you so much for watching. My name is Alex Rondego, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.